Tonight's Project Earth coral reefs protect our coastlines. They support local tourism and provide a home to a third of the ocean's biodiversity. But as our planet warms, rising sea temperatures are harming these creatures and imperiling reefs around the world. But now a Bay Area scientist are giving these reefs a fighting chance. And Makovic reports. Inside the Steinhardt Aquarium at the California Academy of Sciences, Feast your eyes on the deepest display of living coral in the world. Nikki Tyson and her partner Carlin are enchanted. I love it. We've just been sitting here just appreciating the beauty of it just in silence for the last few minutes. But worldwide, it's another story. Many of these vibrantly colored colonies of tiny creatures have now turned ghostly white. That literally looks like you've taken that animal and dipped it in bleach. It's called coral bleaching. A major culprit is climate change. Dr. Rebecca Albright with the Academy explains. Because of climate change, the water's warming up, it's getting hotter, and that's stressing out these organisms. 84% of all coral reefs, the most bi Diverse ecosystems in the oceans are now impacted. When stressed by heat, the coral starves, becomes susceptible to disease, and eventually dies. If we lose coral reefs, we lose about 30% of all life in oceans. So these are baby corals. You can see they, um, the little kind of green fluorescent dots are corals that are about eight months old. Dr. Albright is the founder of the Coral Regeneration Lab at the Academy. It's the first in the U.S. to successfully spawn coral. The goal, to regenerate the reefs. So we're particularly focused on sexual reproduction in corals because that's the way that we get new genetic diversity and new opportunities for survival. Including some tolerant to heat. The scientists adopted techniques to trigger spawning. That is when a colony releases tiny packets of eggs and sperm. The lab is a master at creating baby coral. And the Mesoamerican reef is the second largest barrier reef in the world. Now the California team has brought their experts expertise into the wild. In partnership with the Roatan Marine Park in Honduras, they've built the first coral rearing facility in Central America. The hope is to restore Roatan's damaged reefs. Armed with test tubes, the scientists quickly dove into the water and collected the tiny packets. Once back on land, the eggs were fertilized, incubated, and then brought back into the wild. And then we outplanted over 3,000 baby corals back to the reefs. The baby corals are now two months old. The Roatan staff will dive in a few months to see how many survived. For Albright, it's a labor of love. These are ecosystems that captured my heart at a very young age. I'm a mom. I want my kids to be able to go see them. As for Nikki and Carlin. It's palpable that it's alive and that it's supporting all of this life. All this life now getting a fighting chance.